the Kineon Move Plus Pro. It's a rather novel red light therapy device designed by a group of very smart individuals who all suffered from knee problems. Now, as you can see, it's not your typical red light therapy LED array. In fact, it's different in many ways. But is different better or is this just a unique way to deliver red light therapy where you need it? Let's find out. Okay, so what do you need to know about this product? Well, as you can see, it's currently on uh, a strap or a harness. Uh, it is designed to go around a joint such as a knee or an elbow, though you can individually pop them out and use them to treat wherever you want. That sore tooth, that wound, your face, wherever. Though you should probably use glasses if you're using this near the face. Why? Well, not only does it have some pretty bright LEDs, it's also got lasers. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? So it has your typical uh, 660, 670 nanometer red light, but it's also got near infrared lasers in here. It's something I personally haven't seen in a red light therapy device. I've read about them, but I've never used one. So I was pretty stoked to get my hands on this and have a play with it. Now, as you can see, it is portable and battery powered. You get three of these little modular pods. Now, as I said, you can use them handheld like this, or you clip them in to the supplied bracket. You also get provided with this dock. You can pop the pods into the dock for easy charging, but you get about 24 10 minute sessions out of one charge. So that's pretty good. The light is pulsed, and I believe the near infrared and the red light is pulsed at different intensities or different rates, which did make testing the power a little bit difficult, as you'll see soon. And it also comes with a rather neat carry pack, which allows you to put everything in a secure case, and you can even charge the pods while they are stored in the case as well, which is kind of cool. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It tells me that I should keep doing content like this. If no one likes or subscribes to the video, then it just shows me that, hey, I'm better off spending my time looking at other products or other things. So if you like this, like and subscribe. Cheers. Okay, so time to fire up the spectrometer and have a look at what's going on here. So when you look on screen, you'll notice straight away that straight up and down uh, near infrared reading. That is the result of the lasers. You're seeing a peak of about 805 nanometers, which is really, really cool. There's a lot of evidence showing that the 805 to 810 nanometer light is extremely beneficial, especially on things like joint health and muscle recovery. And you can tell straight away that these guys know what they're doing by including that in there. Uh, then you've also got your uh, slightly wider, typical LED shaped red light. This is peaking around 665 nanometers, which is gonna be good for mitochondrial health uh, from an absorption point of view. And of course, there's a heap of evidence on the benefits of 660 nanometer light as well. When it comes to measuring the power, like I said earlier, it was a bit tricky. I didn't bother measuring at six inches because in all honesty, you're not really gonna be using this at six inches. And plus it was really hard getting a reading. I think the uh, pulsing and given the size of it, it just, my numbers wouldn't have been very accurate. So I only tested right at the source, which is probably how you're going to use it if it is on a joint. I settled on a figure of 45 milliwatts over centimeter squared, which is quite high, especially given the size of this. There's obviously no cooling and it's just battery powered. So that was neat. The spec sheet provided stated that LEDs were rated at 25 milliwatts over centimeter squared and the laser was at five milliwatts. So yeah, it's a little bit unusual here. Um, I, I hope my numbers are okay. Just whenever you got like flickering lights, especially different flickering rates, it can be tricky measuring that power output. But hey, it looks like the power is more than adequate, especially as you're using this right on the body. So if we look at it from a dosing point of view, if you go with say 10 joules per centimeter squared for skin level superficial treatment and 50 joules for the deeper tissue benefits, then you're gonna to need to use this for about three to four minutes for the surface level skin benefits and about 15 to 18 minutes for the deep tissue benefits. What's neat is you can change the treatment time on this from five minutes, 10 minutes or 15. There's no timer or anything like that. You just set it on the back, start it up and it runs for that time and turns off. It's rather simple, I guess. Now I know in my panel reviews, I say I like having timers. Of course, if you're using this on a joint or like on the strap on your knee, then it doesn't matter as such. I also tested the EMF and sound. There was no EMF coming from this, which is great and sort of expected given uh, it's battery powered. And there's also no sound other than the beep when you turn it on and off. Okay, so how much is it? Well, it currently retails for $499. Discount code Alex Fergus will save you 10% and bring it down to $450. I'll put links to the product and also the code below in case it changes. In terms of shipping, it's free in America and internationally expect to pay about $45 or upwards. And finally, it has a one year warranty. Okay, so what do I like about this? Well, first up, it's got lasers. I mean, that's cool, right? 
I think after I've tested a few more products with lasers, I won't be as excited about them. And of course, the near infrared lasers, so it's not like you're shining it at the wall and your cat's running around after them. Uh, but still, there's something about lasers. Secondly, I'm very impressed with the team behind this product. This isn't just someone who's read about red light therapy, got some products off Alibaba, put their sticker on it, and uh, you know, set up a red light therapy business. These guys know their stuff. I have spoken to Forrest, the CEO and founder of the company. Uh, I'll put a link to that video if you want to check that out. And honestly, this guy like just, I, I couldn't keep up. He's very, very knowledgeable and very passionate about this technology. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It tells me that I should keep doing content like this. If no one likes or subscribes to the video, then it just shows me that, hey, I'm better off spending my time looking at other products or other things. So if you like this, like and subscribe, Jess. So you know you're buying something that has been well-researched and well-designed. Speaking of design, it is solidly built and easy to use. The charging dock works well, it's magnetic, all the lights work easily, it all fits well. The button on the back is easy to press and everything feels really good. What else do I like? I like the fact that it's got that 805, 810 nanometer near infrared light in it. It's a wavelength we don't see in many uh, panels. I think because it's slightly more expensive to, to use from an LED point of view. But as I've discovered over the last few months, it is potentially one of the best near infrared wavelengths out there, especially when it comes to things such as joint health and muscle recovery and even muscle performance. Of course, this product is great for joints. I mean, that's why it was designed and what it was designed for. If you have knee problems, it's going to be amazing. The strap is designed so the lights are positioned at various angles coming into the joint. You could use it on your elbow or shoulder or maybe ankle. Uh, or of course, you could strap this around, I don't know, like a quad or a forearm or a bicep if you've torn those muscles. If you do want to use it around the torso, you can actually get a larger strap uh, to use it for that. It's also quite small and portable. I've actually been using the little pods individually uh, for certain areas. So for instance, you could target that sore tooth. Um, you could use it if you had a sore in your mouth. You could spot target wherever you may have an issue, a cold sore for instance. It's kind of neat. The only downside with this though is when you put the pod in the charging dock like so, you'll see it turn straight off, which is quite a bummer because as you can see with all three pods in there, it would make a perfect handheld targeted device. But yeah, unfortunately you can't have them running when they're in this pod. Now I've spoken to Boris about this in the interview. I highly recommend checking it out. He was aware of this and he said it's something they may address in the future. So maybe... I don't know, you'll be able to get a different little docking device and you can use it to move around the body and the muscles. Personally, I, I think that would be a great addition. So you can then benefit from those lasers and spot treat problematic areas or potentially use it prior to a workout and load up on the quads and the lats and the bicep before going out into a workout. And though they're easy to use, it is a bit annoying having to turn them all on individually. If you're using them in the strap, it would be nice to just have one master switch to turn them on or off. Instead, you got to go through, turn each one on. Uh, if they're set to different times, then one's going to turn off before the other. It's not end of the world stuff. It's just slightly annoying. Maybe in a future version, we'll see they're linked through Bluetooth. Or maybe when they're in the strap, they're all wired together and again, uh, talking to each other. I also don't like that you can't change or disable the pulsing. We see this with panels where you can go through and customize your pulsing rate if you want to tap into the benefits of pulsing. Uh, or just disable pulsing altogether. You can't do that here. It may be from a power and thermal regulation point of view, I'm not too sure, but it would have been nice to have that option to disable pulsing. And then finally, we have the straps. Yes, I can see how it's been designed and will work well on a knee, but it is rather difficult using this on other joints, such as your elbow. Uh, if you want to use it on your shoulder, you're literally just throwing it over the shoulder. I don't know, I think it could be improved and it's probably going to be improved in future versions, uh, but it, it works, it just could be better. Overall then, what do I think of this? Well, of course, it is quite a novel, unique product. It's very different to the panels that I'm accustomed to seeing, and it's got some features in it, such as the lasers that panels typically don't have. I really need to emphasize how much time and research has gone into this product and this company. It is a big selling point. Again, when you buy one of these, you're buying that knowledge, you're buying that research as well. And I think that is showing through when you look at some of the testimonials from people that have been using this, especially people that have had knee problems. The wavelengths they've used, the power output, the positioning and the strap, it all, it all works. So then who is this product for? Well, the first one is if you suffer from knee problems. I mean, this was designed as a knee device. It's just that red light therapy works one across the body. So people are using it in different areas. 
But if you do have knee problems, then yeah, you should consider this. The addition of the strap means you could wear this on your drive home from training. You could wear it in bed. You could wear it while watching TV. You can be walking around while using it. You don't have to be stuck next to a panel. You could even use it as you're warming up right before game day. Secondly, if you're someone who's looking for a high powered, well-designed portable unit, then yeah, you may also want to consider this. You probably won't use the strap much. I'd say you end up using these pods individually. Being able to spot treat problematic areas or wounds from such a small device is quite handy. And with the battery lasting 24 sessions, if you're going away for a night, you don't even need to pack the whole travel case. You could just pack the pods on their own and it's not gonna take up too much space. The thing to be wary of though, is you can't use it when it's in this device. And you may find that holding all three of them together is a little bit awkward. So you may end up only using two, which is a slight bother. Finally, if you're someone who just loves lasers, then yeah, you might wanna buy this as well. Okay, so how does this compare to other products, in particular LED panel arrays? Because even though you're getting a well-designed, well-built, high-powered, feature-packed product, for $450, the total treatment area is rather small. So instead, you might wanna look at something like the Mito Red Mobile Flex. This only costs about $250. Discount code Alex will save even a few more dollars off this. Uh, it's handheld, it's battery powered again. It's got a lot more LEDs on it, but it's only got your 660 and 850 nanometer light. It's also putting out more total power than you're getting from this. But missing out on the 805, 810 nanometer light is a bit of a bummer. But of course, it's not designed for joints. If you were treating, say, an elbow or a knee, you're gonna to have to move this around to target all areas. Of course, the larger treatment size and the more power means you're not gonna be spending too much time, but yeah, it's something to be wary of. Next, we have the Mito Red Light Mito Adapt Min. Now, this costs $550, so a little more than the Kineon device. But as you can see, it's a much larger device. Plus, you've got your 810 nanometer light in this. Now, of course, it's not battery powered. It's not portable. You're only going to be able to use this at home. But if you're wanting to treat a knee, I mean, with the amount of power that this is putting out, maybe five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other, and then job done. Of course, you can then use this for other areas of your body, such as your back or your face for the collagen benefits or what have you. The third product to look at is the Thor laser. Now this is currently used in clinics and is often used for things such as joint problems. And it works really, really well. The downside though is the price. You're gonna be spending thousands and thousands of dollars to get this because it's marketed more towards the professionals. But if you are watching this video and you were considering this product for your clinic, then hey, this is something uh, you may wanna consider. Overall though, I hope I've helped shed some more information and more light on this product pun intended. In the meantime though, I highly recommend checking out this video. It's my interview with Forrest Smith, the founder and CEO of Kineon. And I tell you now, if you want to learn more about this, or if you just want to learn more about red light therapy, you're going to love this video. So check it out. Otherwise, leave any questions or comments below. Bye.